two. I'm Julie, that's Don. And Hi. we're going to remember the beginner lesson in waltz that we taught at the ranch on the 7th of December. This is probably what it looked like. We got the first part. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, five, two, two, six, three, seven, two, three, eight, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, and then five, two, three, six, two. And actually, just now we added a basic. We did that turn to arm lock on the 823 after the 823. You can add basics wherever you'd like. We talked about the rhythm of waltz as 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, forever. We also talked about counting it in sets of 8 because that's the way waltz music is written. So you heard Don talking about 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 3. That really helps you remember what pattern goes on which foot. So we started out in closed dance position. Gentlemen, uh, left hand at shoulder level with the lady. Your right hand is on, is on her left shoulder blade. And ladies, your left hand is on top of his shoulder, not wrapped around his neck for turn purposes. You can do that off the dance floor. Okay, so we did our one, two, three. One. Oh, one more thing. We're slightly offset. You may or may not be able to see that, but if we stand this way, you can see that I'm looking at you over Don's shoulder. He's looking over my shoulder. If you look down at our feet, you'll notice that my right foot can, dances between his two feet and his right foot dances between my two feet. There you go. So you're not up this offset and you're not nose to nose, you're just slightly offset. Basic pattern. Basic pattern on walls was just a one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three. Now as far as, so we did our basics. Now to get into our pattern, it was a one, two, three, two, Okay, maybe not. I did that one up. It was a one, two, three, two, two, three. That was it. All right, so what Don does on the two, two, three, which you may or may not be able to see, is one, two, three. On count two, he releases his hand from my back, bring his right hand, his left hand comes between us. As he releases his hand, I trail my hand down his arm and find his finger. So we are in a wrap position. From this direction, you might be able to see it a little bit better. We have one, two, three, turn, two, three. In order to give you a breather, we dance three, two, three in this position. We call them basic patterns. Three, two, three, four, two, three. Backing up on five, two, three, we unroll the lady. We told you about a rule in walls, which is basically turns happen on the two of the one, two, three not the other step. So we're going to step forward on five, and now Don will unroll me, two, three. I'll talk about how you unroll me. So gentlemen, with our, uh, we're stepping forward, forward with our left foot, my forearm is, is going forward as well as pulling Julie a little bit so that she can start releasing. And we end up going to the side, facing each other, but our feet are still facing forward. So we are not exactly facing each other, we're at an angle because the next step, which will be six, two, three, again, we're gonna step forward on the six, and then Don will wrap me back up, two, three. I wanna to talk to the ladies a little bit about how these turns work. On the five, two, three, I'll step forward with my right foot. On two, I'll step sideways or backwards. On three, another side or backwards step that gets me angled towards Don. On the six, straight ahead, on the two, I'm going to be stepping backwards on my right foot, very small steps at this point. On three, I'm going to be stepping forward on my left foot. Don is in charge of this wrapping in and out. And what I like to do is I like to lay my lower back into his arm. That helps me know what he wants me to do and allows him to lead me without pulling or pushing. So we're at a six, two, three. On, on a, a basic, on a seven, we would do a seven, seven two, two three. three. On the eight, two, three, we did a forward step, and then we did a changing hand into arm lock. So it looked like this, eight, two, three. So I'm turning, as I did before, left shoulder back, but Don is changing hands. So from this direction. Eight, two, three, my left foot, Don's right. Who is 
eight, two. Gentlemen, we'll bring her towards us, changing hands. So change hands as you're facing each other. Weight's on my right foot, Don's left. Dropping that hand and going to her waist, period. So ladies, you have nothing to do with that. He does the hand change, don't you worry about a thing, all right? So we're in what's called an arm lock position. Sometimes, in fact, most of the time, the gentleman will hold on to your hand. However, if he chooses not to and puts your hand puts his hand at your waist, then you have a hand available for some arm lines. So we're here at eight, two, three. We step another one, two, three. On two, two, three, Don is going to release his right hand and let's do it from the back. So here's the, the one, two, three is here. One, two, three. Moving his hand to my right shoulder blade, he uses both of his hands to get me to rotate and stand in front of him. Two, two, three. Three, two, three. So we got halfway through the next phrase of music. I think that was it. I think that was wonderful. We will see you folks in two weeks. Double two. Two Bye. twos.